Playtonic Games. Oh my god, what a time to be alive. Hello and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today, we're looking at a very early game, a pre-alpha game, Ukulele, which, uh, you know, fingers crossed, will be releasing quarter one, 2017. Um, first off, let me say a huge shout out and thank you to Joel, aka NS Armored Frog, for uh, sending me the toy box demo. Um, I backed ukulele on Kickstarter, but not at a high enough tier to get access to this toy box demo. And Joel was very generous and uh, gave me his key so we could actually show it on Steven Place. So I really appreciate that. So, what is ukulele? Ukulele is uh, a game that. I'm so happy is going to exist. It is a spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie, um, and it's being created by X Rare employees. In fact, it's being created more or less by the same people that made Banjo Kazooie. Um, it's being made by like the same designer, uh, Grant Kirkhope, uh, the person that did the music for Banjo Kazooie, is doing the music on this as well. They're also having extra music done by David Wise, which is exciting. And uh, this was funded on Kickstarter extremely quickly, and uh, now they are giving some of the higher-tiered backers access to this toy box, so you uh, kind of get a chance to see what they've been working on. So we're going to play around and really take it all in. I'm excited about this. Organics detected. Exterminate. Destroy. Kill. Oh, sorry, users. Didn't recognize you there. I am inept. Welcome to my virtual reality sandbox, a simulation of the real-world final game. Uh, meat beings may use a number of jumping and attacking moves in this test arena. More in the final game. Bzz. Traverse. Make organic feelings. Collect all 100 quills for a moderate reward. That's what you DNA bags would call a right old lark. Bzz. Access granted. Press switch to enter. So basically, what this little toy box is for is to kind of give you a feel for what the final game will control like. Go on then, I haven't got all day. Jump with A and press the trigger while in the air to ground smash. So uh, just for reference, um, the toy box is, as far as I know, only available on PC. So I'm playing this on PC uh, through Steam. This is being run at uh, 1920 by 1080 at the highest settings. And I'm playing it with an Xbox 360 wired controller, just so you know what my setup is. If I can hit the switch, there we go. It opens up this beautiful land. Oops. Um, bruise, mm, bug detected. Please tell devs they messed up. This is nothing to do with me, alright? I'm supposed to be a security bot anyway. What do I know about tutorials? So... If you have played Banjo-Kazooie, or Banjo-Tooie, this already all seems very, very familiar, which is good. Um, if you haven't heard about ukulele at all, I'd, I'm almost curious where you've been, but it's being created by the same people. You know, it, it sounds similar, it looks similar, it, I'm telling you right now, it plays very similar. So we got an attack move, we got jump, we have a double jump, and then we have a flutter. And then we also have, obviously, the ground smash. I'm assuming we have... Okay, so we have a high jump as well. I'm, sh I'm sure that they'll be teaching us some moves throughout this tutorial. So let's slide down here. I'm a quill. Well, a pretend VR one. Collect a hundred of us and receive a pagey. So... They really... They really took the Banjo-Kazooie formula and ran with it. And this is one of those situations where that's not a bad thing. Because that's what people wanted. People have been saying for years, you know, please make Banjo 3E. And uh, Rare is now owned by Microsoft, and for whatever reason, they don't seem to like money. And they have not jumped into doing Banjo 3. So um, these ex-Rare uh, employees formed Platonic Games, and they're really doing it themselves. This is basically the spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie. Organics will need impressive hacking skills to break that lock. Or you could just give it a whack. Let's try whack. All right. So the sounds are similar. The music is extremely similar, which is great. It's basically invoking all of the feels of Banjo Kazooie. But once again, this is what people wanted. People wanted Banjo Kazooie. You know, please give us Banjo Kazooie. So it's, you know, 
it's here. This is this is it. I can't jump once I'm on this slope, so I'm gonna f figure out how to get those. Let's jump in here. If you're sure water won't affect your circuitry, I'll tell you how to swim. You press A to rise and X to sink, then move with the stick. We can swim under here. We don't seem to have a health bar or a, um... Uh... A, uh, a life meter either. And I'm, I'm sure that we, there would be in the final game. But for the... For the purposes of the toy box, I don't think we do. Is there something over here? It looks like there's a little hallway here. The swimming is different. The swimming is, uh, controls a lot differently than it did in Banjo-Kazooie. And maybe... Maybe for the better. Like, you, the stick just moves you for- like, around. Um, you don't move up and down, you just move left and right. And then if you want- if you need to go up or down... ...then you use, uh, A or X to rise or fall. Can I get up there? Okay, I can't seem to go grab ledges. Let me get up here. Does this do me any good? I think this might be an area for another... ...another time. Maybe you affect the water level and you can make it rise or fall. Alright, I'm gonna get back to, uh, where I was then. Alright, back on solid land. Uh, let's see here. We got some platforming. Oh, here's the- here's our little friend again. Z Good news, users! I exterminated all the other NPCs in the simulation. Now you can roam free! Uh, good, I guess. Oh, I can get up there. There we go. Yeah, I can just kind of double jump up there. There we... Yeah, okay, it's working. So, the objective, if you can call it an objective, I mean, really, the objective is just kind of play around and get a feel for, um... the, uh, the moves and the controls. Uh, but there is a, a mild objective to try and collect all those quills. And the quills, uh, are the equivalent of the music notes, and the pages are the equivalent of the, um, puzzle pieces from Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, I was a huge fan of Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, I played through it whenever it came out when I was a kid, and I loved it. And, uh, played through Banjo-Tooie and loved it. Spent a lot of, uh, a lot of time reading up on and trying to, uh, learn more about Stop and Swap, which was... This really wild, this really wild thing where you you would take the Banjo Kazooie cart out of your running N64 and put in a Banjo Tooie cart. They never finalized it, but there was a there's a website dedicated to learning more about it. It was really fascinating. So there's got to be a way up these. Um, the right trigger allows. Yeah, this has got to be it. The right trigger allows the bat, who I believe is called Laylee. Um, there we go, to, uh, to run on top. So, this is still a tutorial. So I'm sure that they'll probably teach us this. Oh, can I not go up there? Can I, oh, can I run along water? Okay, I can't do that. Oh, but if you hold... If you hold it, do you go faster? Let me try that out. Oh, yeah, it gives you a little speed boost at the start there. God, it's... You know what's weird for me, personally, just, just playing this right now? It's... It's basically, and I, I don't want to call it this, because I, I know the, the developers are putting in a lot of time, and they're going to put a lot of personal touches on it. But it, it feels like Banjo-Kazooie reskinned. And that's not a bad thing, and I'm a fan of that, but it's so interesting to see it running, um, you know, at this resolution, to be so beautiful. And I know that we had, um, you know, a, the like the HD re-release of uh, Banjo-Kazooie a few years back for like the 360. But this is different. I mean, this is completely different. And it's absolutely gorgeous. The question is now... Oh, God. Aw, oh, shoot. The question is now, can I get all of these quills? I think I'm gonna try. There we go. Okay. So I gravitated over here a little bit. Um, now I'm in that room that I was in earlier, which is kind of cool. Um, let's drop down here and grab these guys. Very nice. And jump over here. Okay. I'm assuming that, um, 
the reason they went with this environment, for one, it's... I guess it's, it's... It's fitting for the setting. Oh, I missed a box. Son of a gun. It's fitting for the setting, like, oh, you're in the simulation. But then also, they don't have to kind of, like, spoil any of the assets that they were going to show off in the final game as well. Uh, because, you know, they're making... They're making a game. It's gonna have worlds. It's gonna have all of this interesting scenery. And they probably didn't want to have to create, um, any sort of assets just for the, uh, this toy box. So that's, that's my guess. Although it's fun, honestly, just seeing it, just seeing everything like this. Oh, you know what? Son of a gun. You can see there's a, uh, there's a stupid box over there in the distance. Seeing if any of these other buttons do anything. Um, the right... The right bumper refocuses your camera behind you, which, uh, honestly, I always found very useful in these sorts of games. Yeah, there we go. But that, since I'm already heading this direction, I'm gonna just go this way. Alright, I got these things. Where's... Okay. Oh, this must lead me to the other... Ah, okay, yeah. Whee! So this will take me to that one that I was trying so desperately to get. Now I can sp speed up. You can jump. I can't spit eggs. <laughs> it's not it's not entirely banjo kazooie, although it's not supposed to be. I need to figure out Do I have to go around that way? I'm trying to figure out how to get up to that thing. And I'm not entirely sure. I can either That ain't going to work. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to have to go over there. Yeah, I don't think there's a back way. Well, son of a gun. Soar like a cybernetic eagle, users. Hold the left trigger and press A. The only bad thing about these tutorials is that they are... There's nothing... Like, there's nothing around to show you that there's going to be a tutorial. Like, the, the person... Uh, the little... Guy, I don't know if he has a name. Um, he's not here to, like, show you that you... ...that it's gonna be a tutorial. That's the only thing. You just kinda have to stumble across them, so... I guess it could be possible that I miss one because of that. Okay, this just slides around, which is... ...nice. Kinda, I hope I can actually... Oh, there we go! The camera actually changed, which is cool. So we have a slight puzzle here. I think I can figure this one out. I don't... <laughs> ...don't need Mallory's help for something of this level. Okay, so we got another quill. God, it's... I mean, it's... It's Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> it's Banjo-Kazooie. It's back. And I think the, the greatest thing is that... So much of the original team is comprising... This team. Um, the soul of Banjo-Kazooie will be in this game. Um, because it's the same people making it. That's what, what's so exciting for me. Greetings, user. You haven't seen any other organics around here, have you? It's so difficult to satisfy the urge to exterminate in this empty simulation. Bzz anyway, what did you think of the different cameras leading up to this point? Do you have a favorite? I'm advised uh, meat beings can discuss feedback on the Platonic forums at forums.platonicgames.com. The Wi-Fi in here is rubbish, though, so I couldn't tell you if that's just hearsay. And I've earned these for walking all the way down here, but we're nearly halfway there, which is pretty cool. Um, let's ride Laylee and get the heck out of here quickly. Okay, so the next set of obstacles I think we need to uh, figure out is over this way. There's another set of floating things. Watch the shadow. There we go. Got it. Careful. Whoa, no! Eh, what happens when you die? I'm assuming we don't lose our quills, because that would be ridiculous. Oh, but they do put you back here. Ouch. Alright, let's get back to where we were. There we go. Oh, look, something. That looks bad. I beat it up. Oh, there's more. You guys want some of this? Ow! Jerkwad. Ugh. Go high! Oh, I can't jump on them. Should've known. Okay, you want- huh? You want some of this? So this is a little com- oh, you got- you have pants on your head, do you? 
Oh, he's the bad. He's the bad dude. I'm taking him out one by one. Yay! It played a it played a special sound, and I feel good about that. Um, this area I think was was added as part of <laughs> DLC. I know it's weird for a pre-alpha game to have DLC, but there was uh, there was Toy Box and there was Toy Box Plus. And um, Joel actually gave me both codes, and I think the Toy Box Plus added that little added this little area for you know so you could see how combat works. As far as I'm cons uh, as far as I know, that's the only thing I can really do though. Oh, they came back out. I'm assuming I can't go in here. Oh, I can go in here. What 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 happens? Oh, look at them. They seem very upset. Okay, so I'm not supposed to kill them. They're just kind of showing off, I guess, some of the the models and some of the different animations that they have. Which is beautiful. Also, if I haven't already mentioned it, um, this game is coming out on pretty much everything. Uh, it's going to be available on uh, Windows OS X, I believe Linux as well. It's going to be available on all of the major consoles, so you're going to be able to play it on PS4, Xbox One, and Wii U. And these are all ex very exciting things. Did you guys want some? You, you want some of this? Okay, I'm just trying to see if there, I, I can't die. So I'm trying to see if there's any other moves. Because I have this. Crouching and hitting that doesn't do anything. I have jump, I have ground pound. Which is a fairly effective... Oh, I wonder if I can roll into them. I'm assuming I can't. Oh, you totally can! Look at this guy, I don't know if I I don't think I can kill him that way. But I can certainly piss them off, which is nice. Gotcha. Now there's obviously, uh, this isn't showing you all of the moves, and there's there's going to be more moves, um... in the game. There's the pants guy again. Uh, but this is just kind of showing you... uh, a sampling... of what you can expect. Oh, I'm dead again! No! It's alright. Alright, in that case, what I need to do is probably go this... way... there we are. I don't know if that was the... the way they wanted me to do it, but that's the way I did it, and that was fine. Uh, I need to roll up here. Be very careful. Oh god, oh no! <laughs> well, uh, I could explore the deep, and I need to, but I want to get up that mountain first. There we go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! Whew! There's no guardrail here, this is difficult. No! No, no, no! Okay, I'm safe here. Sort of. Oh no, I bet I can't get up. Aw, oh, crap. I just realized I don't need momentum to get up here. And now that I know I don't need momentum to get up here, everything is fine. Because you're very slidey, but you don't- since you- oh god, since you don't need the momentum, you can just kind of take your time. Also, when you take a, a big spill, there's a fun little animation of Lily picking you up, which is nice. Okay, there we go, there we go. Take it easy. Turn. Woo! That is... that was a little rough, but I got up there. Holy crap. Alright. And I am rewarded. Oh, I need two more and we're halfway. Which is exciting. There's some stuff over there, but we can get there any time. It looks like we should probably be going this way. And if I'm smart, which I'd like to think I am, I will wait on this platform. And I don't know, there's like a ball or something up here. What is this? Did I just push the ball? Push the ball! Push the ball too far! Get in that hole! This is the most ridiculous game of golf I've ever played. Get in there. Okay. And the question is, what did that do? Put the ball down there somewhere. Um, it kind of looks like I should... Attempt to fly to this thing. Yeah, it seemed like a smart move. Okay, I opened it from the back. Oh no. Okay, the uh oh. There we go. The camera <laughs> camera got a little funky when I got stuck there. Almost there, users. Fifty quills accumulated. That's right. We're halfway, which is not bad. Um, I feel feel pretty happy about that. Also, this would have been a way to get up here as well. Uh, there is a ball over there, and it looks like the ball's gonna get put into certain holes. 
but I'm not going to deal with the, the ball right now. I think I'm going to go down here. Where we are going to get pushed around. But if we break free, we can get a few more quills. All right, we're up to 53. And in we go. Does the breeze make you feel alive, users? Uh, it makes me feel like I'm getting pushed around. And I can make it even worse, I'm sure, if I Laylee in charge. Oh, God. Can I fight it with Laylee? No, it is... It is a wall. Man, we are going. All right. There we go. Whew, we got free. All right, let's hit this button. Because that's what we do. Oh, that just gives us some quills. Very nice, up to 57. And... 59, 60, 61. Looking pretty good. Um, the question is... Are these buttons? No, they're not buttons. Can I fly up there? Oh, I totally can. I had a lot more distance on that than I thought I would get. Boom! And there's some balls. Oh, God, they hurt. Did not expect that to be a trap. Okay, looking good. Also, I did not need Laylee to get up that. I thought I did because it was sloped. And I'm just now associating her with the slopes. But in fact, I was actually fine. It's just, it's apparent, I think it's just the blue, the blue slopes. Alright, let's get back out here. Staying on the lookout for any, uh, any sort of hidden chest that may be lurking about. But I think I've grabbed all of them over here. I've been trying, trying to be as thorough as possible. So now we can go check out what that ball was all about. So if we push this around... I'm assuming that there's some sort of switch or hole or something that this has got to go into over there. No, you don't. No, 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 no. Don't get stuck in here. There you go. Oh, no. Do I have to roll it up a frig... <laughs> God. Yes, I do. Oh, no. Don't go over here. There's nothing over here, honey. There's, no there's nothing here for you. Oh, my God. Okay. There we go. There we go. There's not a button to, like, hold the ball. So this is a bit of an exercise in frustration, but I got it up there. And it's all about getting it into this small hole, which I believe is going to open that door... ...and give us access. There we go! To these beautiful things! We're now up to 70. So we are, uh, seven-tenths of the way there. We just have a few more to get. While I'm over here, because I suspect there are things down here... I'm gonna swim down here, show off the swim mechanics one more time. So, uh, I'm not using the stick to decide if I want to go down or up. The X button goes down, and the A button goes up. Now, at this point, I'm not touching any of the other buttons. I'm just using the stick, and then you just go forward. Uh, I think this is probably an easier way to do it. Uh, it's not immediately intuitive for me, having played Banjo-Kazooie. Um, but I think for, you know, a, a new user, it makes more sense. And then also, for anyone that's that's played Banjo-Kazooie, I think he'll adjust pretty quickly, because... Now that I understand how it works, I'm doing, you know, just fine. Alright, we're up to 75. We are three quarters of the way there. I believe there's no more under here. Let's come back to the surface and see if there's any other... There we go. Any other fun stuff... ...that we missed. Obviously, we went over there. We've been up that tower. Oh, there's like a... I don't know what the crap that's supposed to be over there. We'll get there in a minute. Uh, we haven't been up here yet. Now that I know that Laylee is the, uh... ...the way that we should be moving around... <clears throat> now I'm using her all the time because she's just so much faster. There we go. Okay, we got a chest. These are the things that freak me out because they're just kind of sitting here and they're very easy to miss. 77. Ah, here we go. Pay dirt. <clears throat> Got it. Oh, come on. There we go. That's 82. Did I miss one down there? No, I don't think so. Um... I was gonna say, it looked like there was a doorway here. Alright. So let's run in here and see if there's anything else we can, uh... ...explore. There's gotta be some quills in here. Oh, there's quite a few. What the crap? Where are we? Okay. 
Let's just keep grabbing them. We're up to 85. We're doing quite well. This looks a little odd to just be chilling here. I don't... I don't think there's a way to go into first person. What is that thing? I don't know, but it makes me want to hit it. <laughs> I'm going... I'm going to hit you. What is this? Freeing us ghost riders. What fun, but in the sandbox, there's only one. Okay, so are they like the... the Jingos? Maybe they're like the Jingos. I don't know. Uh, that's up to 88. Things are... things are looking good. Things are looking very good right now. I'm pretty happy. There's, we got some crates. Um... We should have no problem getting... all of the stuff. Also, uh... And this is made in Unity, and there's like... there's physics, so you can actually like push all this crap around. It's just very different than how... games used to be. How Banjo-Kazooie would... would, uh... would control. I got this box, which could be useful. I just gotta figure out how... how it would be useful. Oh, I see! I'm still in the same place that I was before. This is where this starts. Oh, okay, so I guess I was right to come this way. And they give me that box, presumably, so I can get up here. But that's not necessary. These are little seesaws, so I need to be careful. Oh, God! <laughs> Speak of the devil! There we go. Seesaw, baby, seesaw. Doing- oh god, this one- Jeez! Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a breather over here so I don't lose my cool. I need, oh, I can't- I don't think I can even get up there. There's cl there's clearly something up there, though. Oh, crap. Well, can I- wait, can I get up there, then? There's a ledge on that side. Is there a... No? Oh, that's dangerous. I think that's how you do it, though. Okay, I came over here. Oh, jeez. This is hard. Oh, I did it! it wait, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> Careful. Good. My palms are starting to get sweaty. I got to the top. User is too high. Frame rate dip detected. Terminate <laughs> terminate artist. <laughs> 93. Um okay, so I got up there. I'm I only need seven more. This will be the hardest to find, I'm sure. You made it to the top of the island. Now you can view all those pleasing geometric shapes and grids. Enjoy it before Final Games inferior highly detailed organic art arrives. It's, uh, it's so cheeky, and so funny. I mean, it's- it's the same- it's the same people, it's the same humor. It's really exciting. Uh, don't think there's anything up there. How's this work? Oh, there- oh, it's- oh, I see. We're trying to avoid them. Okay. I can do that. And you can't jump, actually, so... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 that's bad. That's really bad. There was a switch up there, but I kept falling. Oh, God. Oh, that's... Oh, no. I'm slightly worried. I can't get back up, can I? Oh, my God. I'm gonna have to... Oh, son of a gun. Alright, so this time, I'm gonna go... Yeah, closer to the edge here. Because I landed kind of in the center, and that's what screwed me up. I'm gonna hope that this is not on a timer. But I'm also going to assume it is, so I'm gonna hurry up. Go, 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 go. And try not to get hit on this very weird slalom course. There we go. Alright, we did it. Okay, so where are we now? What? <laughs> oh, it's different environments. Oh, that's so cool! I mean, this is the toy box, after all, so they're showing us what the ice is like. And we've also got... ...dirt. We've got some water. This is obviously the grass. Some sort of deep sand. And the different sounds that they- that they make. Very cool. 
Very, very cool. And it's just a, a thoughtful addition. And I think it's also because, I mean, the people that back this, they're interested in those things. They legitimately are. I, the people that back this are the people that played Banjo-Kazooie, and they're older now. They have expendable income. They want to see this project come back to uh, come back to life because they enjoyed, um, you know, the Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie game so much. My question right now is, can I get over there? I guess the answer is yes. You can really fly a lot farther than you think, because I, I keep looking at them like, no, I can't make that. But then I do. Um, th okay, the only problem is... I feel like I've seen everything. And the reason that's a problem is I'm missing seven. <laughs> I am missing seven of these things, so I'm gonna have to get a little creative and look around a little bit more, because, uh... I am not sure... where... they are. Okay, I just spotted some. There's a few more that were hiding up here that I did not get on my first go-around. I'm also trying to figure out exactly the best way to get to them. Yeah, I think I can fit through that... ...crack. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the question is how many are hiding over here? My guess, not seven. Probably not seven. Um, but more than I thought, actually. It looks like there's... Okay, there were quite a few over here. Oh god. This is even worse, though, because now I'm only missing two. I'm only missing two. Now that makes me think that I'm missing a chest. I got that chest up there, right? No, wait, I didn't. That's it. That's where it is. Because there's been two in a chest. Every time. And I never got that chest. The question is, how do I get that chest? Did I already talk to you? Certainly I did, right? Do you have anything to say? Exciting control update incoming. Crouch, ground smash. That's not it. Can I get in here? Hmm. Okay, well... There is some way to do this. I wonder... You know, we were over there and we were in the maze. I wonder if it's possible to get on top. Because if you got on top, you could probably fly over. Well, that's my... that's my first question answered. You can get on top. But can you jump? That is... that's a... that's a heck of a jump. I mean, can it be done? Possibly. Alright, I think... I'm gonna high jump here at the point. And then... Really, really... oh no! <sighs> Maybe instead of high jump, I should just jump? I, uh, that's the thing, I have no idea. I don't see any other way to make the- oh wait. Son of a gun. Oh, son of a gun, they got me good. Well, in my defense, I was at least thinking outside the box. Right? And that seems- that seems helpful. Okay, so, um, this will be the last two. I feel accomplished, I feel like, you know, I did good, I found them all. That's, uh, that's one of the things that you did in Banjo-Kazooie, though. You would- you'd have to find these, uh, music notes. Well done, user. You collected Quill's Quota 100, a binary classic. Come find me to collect your pagey. Which conveniently is directly under us. God, they got the googly eyes, everything. It's so Banjo-Kazooie, and it's great. So we got a pagey. Bzzz. Greetings, users. I have a secret for you. Poof. Okay. Ooh, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> There's a switch somewhere in the world. And it was in a small room. Wait a minute. I've been looking around. Son of a gun! I thought it might have something to do with underwater, because above ground I felt like I had seen everything. But there's a very hidden alcove under the water here. I wonder what that did. Oh god. Is that supposed to be the direction? Does that mean we're supposed to go in that direction? Oh god. That's very... This is cryptic. This is very cryptic. 
Um, okay. I can go in this direction. The problem is I don't know what I'm looking for. Or oh, wait. Is it still under the water? Okay, this definitely seems new. <clears throat> Are you what I'm looking for? Bzz, greetings, users. I have a secret for you. Bzz, when real world game releases, look to a pirate ship for a surprise. Ground smash Lone Rock under a nearby tree to reveal the way. Remember this to find the surprise. Is that it? Was that... I think... I think that was it. I think that was the surprise. I think that was the thing that we worked so hard to, uh... To get with a hundred quills. Okay then! Alright! Uh, I don't know if I can even call this a first 20. I, I, I guess I'll call it a first 20 because I don't really know what else to put it in. It's not really a demo. It's kind of a demo. Um... But yeah, I think- oh god, I'm dead. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll call the first 20. This was- this was good, and I think what's so exciting is that, um, this game is going to be good. Like, based on the toy box, it's- it's gonna be good. They are- I mean, I don't want to be like, you know, they're recreating Banjo-Kazooie. But they're- they're hitting all of those same marks that gamers loved and that gamers wanted, and they're- they're doing it. They're doing it. They set that goal, and they're hitting it. And, uh, it's exciting, because just recently I looked at Bloodstained. And Bloodstained is coming along great as well. And this game is doing the same. Like, this looks fantastic, it plays just like Banjo-Kazooie. And it has the same humor, the same feel. Um, all of those little notes that Banjo-Kazooie hits, this game is hitting as well. And that is extremely exciting for someone who grew up playing those games and loving them very much. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, huge shout out and thank you to Joel slash NS Armored Frog for, uh, for sending me this code so I could uh, bring this to you guys. I uh, really appreciate that. I'm sure we'll be hearing more and more about ukulele in the coming months because they are trying to launch in the first quarter of 2017. So stay tuned. And if you're as excited for this game as I am, then please share your enthusiasm down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next week for another Stephen Plays First 20. Oh my god, I just, <laughs> I just paused the game because I was trying to quit, and I realized that this is beautiful. This is also very Banjo-Kazooie-esque. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Well, here's all the controls. Advanced moves, do to do, do Okay, well fortunately it looks like we didn't miss any moves, so we actually did show off all the moves that were in this demo, which is nice. The options. Oh my god, just hearing the sounds, seeing the heads, seeing the font, this is perfect. I'm so excited about this. Even the pause menu is getting me pumped.